Well, Gary, uh, you ran Watford close for long periods. Uh, are you disappointed in the end to come away with a defeat? Yeah, I'm always disappointed to lose a game. Um, but I just said to the players, I can't ask for an awful lot more effort. I thought we kept going. We took a very, very strong Watford side. Uh, it caused you lots of problems, the way they play and pass the ball through the middle of the pitch, the way their front players combine and, and are very, very bright in the final third. Um, but I felt as though we, we, we stuck at it. We kept in the game. We kept our shape well. A little bit more belief, perhaps, going forwards could have caused them one or two more problems. Um, but I thought second half, you know, the last 15 minutes, we've chased the game. We've made them have to defend for their lives. Um, and sometimes you have to accept that. You know, a poor goal from our, um, from our point of view to concede. It comes from a corner, ends up getting cleared. We don't react very well to the, to the, uh, to the secondary ball. Um, he ends up getting a crossing and our lad's free in the box with a very good finish. So it's a good goal from their point of view, but we'd be disappointed with that. So not overly disappointed with the afternoon, but never, obviously never liked losing the game. It never looked comfortable for Watford and maybe for a bit more care or a bit more endeavour, as you said, you could have perhaps come away with something today. Well, I think we could have done. I think if we'd have just showed a little bit more in the final third, again, we got into some quite good areas. Cots put a few decent balls across and we couldn't quite make the right runs or go in with a right belief. I think um, Clays has had one first half where he could get maybe get a shot off quicker. Shins has had one where if he chases a little bit faster, he gets on the end of it. Dimmy the same. If he challenges a little bit stronger, he gets on the end of it. So, again, it was another game where just the margins, perhaps we're just not making them go for us at the moment. But I know that in the future, I've got to try and do something to make those margins go our way. Um, but the endeavour was there. Uh, on the whole, most of the performance was there. And again, we just couldn't find that final little bit of a touch to, to, make, the, uh, to make the draw. I suppose it's always going to be difficult against a, a side and particularly a squad, the strength that, uh, that Watford can, can call upon. Oh, they've got some excellent players, they've got some fantastic strikers. Um, and again, but you, you play all these top sides that are up there, that's the difference. And I've said this before, um, you know, we'd be ninth in the league at the moment. If you look at the eight above us, they're the eight teams that are probably the biggest teams in this division in terms of the firepower and the financial muscle that they've got. So um, we've got to bridge that gap. You know, again, we're not far away. Again, there's not much difference, but there's a little subtle difference. And at the moment, we've just got to keep working hard to, to bridge that gap. But it, I couldn't fault the players' effort once more. If they keep doing that till the end of the season for the last three games, win, lose or draw, you know, I'll be a happy manager. Um, because I think that's what it's about. You know, the crowd were brilliant and I'm sure that they would have been proud of the players' effort today.